Hi everybody and welcome to this edition of Child Life Corner. Today we are talking all things blood and specifically leukemia. So how to teach patients about leukemia and the difference between healthy blood and sick blood. So for this education, you're going to need two types of bottles or um, specimen sample cups um, to have one be the healthy blood, one be the sick leukemia blood. Um, today, I am going to be using Cheerios that I just um, rolled around in some food coloring. So I just put a lid on and shook it all up and they turned red real easy for me. Um, so those are our red blood cells, white blood cells. I'm gonna be using some marshmallows. Platelets, I'm gonna be using sprinkles. Plasma, I'm gonna be using vegetable oil. And then for the leukemia cells, I'm gonna be using purple Skittles. Okay, so a little bit how I explain the different components of blood to patients. So for the red blood cells, I often describe it as the main component of blood that helps move nutrients and energy across the body. For our white blood cells, or our marshmallows, I talk about how they're the fighter cells of the blood. So they help fight off infection, help fight off germs. The platelets or sprinkles I describe as um, the band-aid of our body and often so I kind of refer to it as whenever you get a scab, those are your platelets working together to help stop the bleeding because most kids do have some frame of reference of a scab. And lastly for the plasma, I use vegetable oil and I tell kids that vegetable or the plasma is there to help the blood move from your brain to your toes to your arms and all throughout your body. So next we're going to make our healthy blood with these four components. All right, next I just added some vegetable oil in here to be the plasma. So once we have our blood all together, you can see the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. We'll give it a shake. And you can kind of see it all in there. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets and plasma. So this is our healthy blood. So we're gonna set this one off to the side for a minute. All right, now it's time to make our leukemia or sick blood. So we're gonna start off the process the same way again by adding some red blood cells, some white blood cells, and this time we're gonna add extra white blood cells because this is the sick blood, so our body has extra white blood cells because it's trying to fight off the cancer skills with all that it kinda, um, so they're kinda multiplying to fight off those cancer cells. All right, now I'm adding in those white blood cells. I'm gonna add quite a bit more than I did in the red blood, than in the healthy blood. Because we wanted the, the change to be really significant so that the, the child can see it. So we're adding in lots of white blood cells. My marshmallows are a little melty. Lots of white blood cells. We'll do a little bit more. Okay, so next we are going to add our platelets still. Okay, we've got our platelets. And now to this one, we're gonna add something extra. Um, we're gonna add leukemia cells or the sick or lazy cells, like some kids like to call them. So for purposes of this, I am going to be using green Starburst to be, green Skittles to be um, our leukemia cells. So we're gonna put our leukemia cells in. All right, so next we are ready for the plasma. So we'll fill it all the way up again with plasma. 
and we'll seal it up. So here we have our leukemia blood. This is a better view of it. So we have our leukemia cells, our white blood cells, we have quite a bit more of them, um, red blood cells, and our platelets and plasma still. So this is when I'll bring back out the healthy blood. And you can kind of tell the difference already. And I'll have the kids compare the two. So then um, we'll, they'll typically point out that there's more white blood cells, that there's cancer cells, and then we'll talk about um, a special drug, whatever they're using, or a big word, chemotherapy, that is going to try and help your body to kill off the green cancer cells. So for this experiment, um, I think it's really important to be honest with kids. Um, some tips I would recommend is maybe having the parent leave the room um, so you, the child feels comfortable to ask questions um, without a parent present. Additionally, um, letting the child kind of lead the activity, let them pick out the color of the Skittles, let them pick what goes in first, and really kind of ask them questions to make sure that they are comprehending what we're talking about. Um, I have used this activity with ages four and up. Even our adolescents, I think it's really great for them to see close up the difference between um, leukemia and healthy blood. I have also seen child life specialist um, substitutes the ingredients for kind of whatever you have. So for example, using Red Hots instead of the Red Cheerios as a red blood cell. So thanks for tuning in guys. If you have any questions or concerns, um, please feel free to write a comment below. Um, but make sure to subscribe, um, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram for more videos coming soon. Thanks and have a great Sunday.